Poison Control Center. Okay. This is one to help. And can you tell me what kind of symptoms he's having? Hi, my name is Salor Baeza. I'm the director of the West Texas Regional Poison Center. And today we're hosting a simulation exercise that involves a CDC, a 211, and poison control centers. Have you given him any medication for that? We fever? will be used as a resource uh, to help answer uh, pen influenza questions when the, uh, during a severe pandemic and making, if necessary, uh, referrals or even providing uh, access to antiviral medications. During the simulation, we're getting calls, um, our typical poison center uh, exposures to medications, to bites and stings, to drugs of abuse. So our regular calls are, are uh, regular type of calls. In addition to that, we're getting calls from actors that have uh, either influenza-like illness uh, or are caring for someone with uh, uh, influenza-like illness. And so we are triaging them uh, based on uh, uh, proposed CDC protocol. And uh, so we're assessing the system. Can 211 and poison centers effectively answer these type of calls? And we're also assessing the protocol and the ways that uh, we can improve or that CDC can improve on their proposal. So your friend has the flu, um, and how were you exposed to you? Uh, the reason there's an interest in using 211 centers and poison control centers is that we are an existing resource that is available 24-7, and we're used to the practice of telemedicine, of uh, dealing with patients and customers over the phone. And to help ease the burden on, uh, on emergency rooms, on urgent care clinics, physician offices, to help ease that burden during a severe pandemic, we can be a resource that can be used as a, as a surge uh, to the healthcare, existing healthcare uh, system.